Hello, everyone. Sarah here. I am um, recording this instead of doing a Facebook Live because the reality is my internet has been struggling. I know it's just it's so damn cold out and it doesn't want to work. And um, so after three attempts, I thought I will be efficient today and just record this. So Happy New Year, everyone. Um, I love this time of year because it is a chance for us to shift from reflecting on our accomplishments for the end of the year and to think about all of our aspirations and dreams for the beginning of the year. There's something about even the, I don't know, just the way the snow creates a, um, a reset, a, a blank canvas for us to create from. And for me, I like to think about it as um, what's the new chapter I want to write for my book this year? And as we think about the stories, and as I think about the stories I know I'm going to write this year, uh, I'm so excited, but I'm also excited to think about what are the stories in the chapters you're going to write for your book this year. For me, an aspiration for myself and for other people is to, to really commit to not playing small and to playing big, which means that we have to have the courage um, to live the life we were meant to live, to do the work we are meant to do, and to play fully and beautifully brave. And the thing with bravery is that bravery isn't, you know, lots of people have written about this, uh, most notably Brene Brown, and is that bravery is not about never feeling fear, but it's about feeling it and moving forward anyway. And one of the things that I've come to learn and experience quite a bit, certainly this past year, is that Almost every time that I've come across a door um, that felt fearful or that that was a fear door, um, that when I finally walked through it, although it felt really big on the this side of the door and felt very scary and like, I don't know if I should do this and I could come up with a hundred and reasons why I shouldn't. Um, it was amazing to me how I could, once I walked through it, that door seemed so much smaller or better yet, so often it felt like oh, right, this was the path I was supposed to take. I've had lots of those moments where I had a big decision and went, oh, am I doing this this year? And then suddenly it was like, well, yeah, of course this is what you're doing. Of course this is your path. So as many of you know, who know me, know that I am incredible. I'm so passionate about helping people become their greatest, most powerful selves. And, and more specifically, I am on a mission to help people grow into powerful leaders, leaders who inspire and motivate themselves, leaders who inspire and motivate others. Um, and yes, I love working with people who manage people directly. But when I talk about leader, uh, leadership, leadership is something we all do. So you know, it's something some people do some of the time. And I want to see more people do that. And um, and so for me, I'm, I want to close that gap when there's a distance between our intentions and our impact. I've worked with so many people, so many managers, and myself included, where our intentions are so good, but something gets lost in translation. Something gets lost in the execution, and, um, and we don't quite have the impact we want. Or worse yet, sometimes we have unintended consequences to things that we meant so well on. So I, I'm, I want to continue to work with people to close that distance. And the reality is, is that we spend more time at work, we spend more time with our managers than we do our friends and often our family. And the other truth is we have a little bit of an epidemic of some shitty managers. And it's not because they intend to be. Um, most, most people who are in leadership, formal leadership roles are there because they want to do good. Um, but sadly, they're not necessarily always given the support or the resources of how to become the leader they want to become and, and what the world needs them to become. I was just talking to um, uh, a friend of mine, Mary, this morning, and we were talking about the fact that leadership isn't something you're just born with. It is a science and it is an art and there are things you can learn and there are things you can practice and things you can do that will help you be more effective. And so I want to help leaders see that their job isn't just to build self or to, it's not just to build efficiencies and processes, but perhaps more importantly is to build self-efficacy within people. And I have been fortunate enough to do this work at an amazing company, Arog, uh, who values development for the past five years. I've been able to do it um, in on the side and other you know areas from teaching at Drake to speaking. 
But now it's time for me to finally listen to myself, to stop playing small, and to play big. So I am so excited to share with you today that I submitted my formal resignation from ARAG as my role of talent development manager, um, a company I love, a team I loved working with, a manager I loved working for, people who I cared deeply about, so that maybe I can increase this impact. And so uh, starting effective February 1st, I will be focused full time um, as the CEO of Sarah Noel Wilson Co., CEO meaning the chief edge officer, because that's my job is helping people work their edge. And so I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm excited. Um, there certainly have been moments of, okay, like, let's figure this out. Um, but I'm so excited to work with people and companies who share my passion for developing themselves and developing their um, uh, others in a more meaningful way. So what's next? Um, so in the short term, if you're hearing this or you're interested in how can we work together, there's a couple of different ways that we can play together. Um, one is I, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching and I have sort of my mini micro ones, which I call my SOS um, packages. One of the things that I've heard from a number of people that I've worked with is uh, I wish I wish I could just have a little Sarah on my shoulder when I'm going into those tough conversations, when I have to give those feedback. Back. That's something I, I love. There's nothing I love more than a juicier conversation. And how do we do it in a way that really builds trust? Um, and we do it in a way that's candid, but compassionate, and most importantly, chronically curious. Um, so my SOS um, package, or what I like to call Sarah, oh shit, what do I do? Um, otherwise, if you're looking for something more transformational, I do work with leaders from six months to 12 months, and we create a custom experience for you, for your goals um, that we co-create so that, that you can really transform through that. Um, I also am speaking quite a bit more, which shouldn't surprise anyone. I've spent 20 plus years on the stage, and I, I, I love the chance to be able to present really powerful, um, informative topics in a way that is also fun. Um, so, you know, it's a lightweight, it's a, it's a lighthearted experience, but the content is not lightweight. Um, and then the other way we can work together is through my workshop facilitation. And so, um, yes, companies hire me and they bring me in to do trainings for their team members. But what I'm so excited about to finally get to offer is this year I will start offering public workshops. And there will be more information to come on that because I'm in the process of designing them now. And so what's next? So you've been hanging out with me now. We're together now almost eight minutes. So for those of you who are still with me, thank you. I love you. Um, but so here's what's next. Um, we are putting the final touches on the website. I'm partnering with Project 7 Designs, which will go live in a few weeks. The reality is they're waiting on me to finish all of my content that I want to put on there. So that'll come. Um, but you can still check out www.sarahnoelwilson.com and sign up for our newsletters that will be coming at the end of the month. Um, another thing that we're working on that I can't wait is we are creating, uh, we being, uh, I have a small team, and we're working on a series, a video series for managers who are just so busy and they just need a little bit of a shot of development, inspiration, ideas. And so those will be coming in early February as well. And then finally, as I said, um, public workshops will be announced uh, come February. They'll start in March. So that uh, what that means is I have my own studio space. So I'm creating a learning lab as part of the mainframe studios downtown. And uh, this weekend, we are laying carpet. I got my furniture in. Uh, and I cannot, uh, cannot wait, cannot wait. So I am so excited for 2018. And I wouldn't have been able to get here without so many people, so many uh, family support from family, support from my husband, friends, people along the way who challenged me to think bigger, people who did what I wanted to do to inspire me to shoot for that. Um, too many for me to list, and certainly I will continue to dedicate uh, myself to making sure people hear that directly from me. But I didn't get here by myself, and I won't get where um, I think that we can go with this work by myself. And so I'm making a commitment to you today to play fully brave in 2018 and beyond. And so my question to you is, will you play fully brave with me? And if so, how? I would love to hear all about it. Share your thoughts in the comments or shoot me an email. And um, 
Thanks for hanging out with me and uh, hearing this announcement and have an amazing rest of your week. All right. Bye, everyone.